Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'd like to talk about putting your own purchase buttons right on your WordPress website for your private podcast or your subscription podcast or your members only podcast, whatever you're calling it these days, um, so that a visitor can go to your WordPress website, click a buy now button. It'll take them to Stripe so that they can put in all their purchase information, send that information to Castos. So Castos knows, hey, we have a new subscriber and then we send them access to your private podcast. I'm going to show you how to do this in WordPress first. Let's take a look at Stripe. Once you create a Stripe account, I have another video on that, setting that side up. Uh, you create your product and you can create as many products as you want at any price points that you want with either a one-time fee or a recurring fee. So you might be able to set up like a $5 donation product or a $50 a year subscription product to your private podcast. Totally up to you on what you want to set up in Stripe. I'm looking at uh, the product page right now in Stripe. You can see on the right hand side, the preview of what that checkout page will look like. And the most important piece to this is once you set up the payment is to copy this link and bring that back to your WordPress website. Um, our new native integration with Stripe means that you can come into your automations page in Castos, say Stripe, select a trigger, which is, you know, somebody checked out, somebody bought something from you, and then you add them to uh, your particular podcast, uh, private podcast on Castos side, we'll add to podcast, and then you get to select which podcast that you have. You can have as many of these private podcasts as you want, as many products as you want, mix and match, a gold tier, a platinum tier, whatever you want to call it, uh, totally up to you on how you want to configure your Stripe and private podcast here at Castos. So let's copy this link because the easiest thing one can do on their podcast website is say, buy my subscription, write out those words, select those words and paste in a link to your product. We'll preview that. Uh, I didn't select the whole word there, but we get the gist of it. We can click this now, and this will take me to that Stripe checkout page to purchase my subscription podcast for $49 a year. It doesn't happen on your WordPress website. It happens in Stripe's checkout. And again, once somebody buys this, it'll notify Castos to send them the private podcast. That's the easiest thing you can do is just copy this link and put it anywhere in your WordPress website. But if you want to make it look a little bit better, uh, the good news is there are a lot of options to make uh, what's known as Gutenberg blocks these days or blocks or Gutenberg, whatever you want to say. Um, and I'm going to show it to you today using something called Stackable. Look, there are a ton of other uh, plugins that I could have shown you. I could have shown you Stackable. I could show you Extendify. I could show you Coblocks. There's a ton. Um, I could show it to you in Elementor. The idea is the foundation of this stuff is all the same. Find a block that you like, a layout that you like, and then paste that link in there and save it to your page. Let's add in the stackable price uh, grid. So if I go to add a new block, I'll search for pricing box. I'll add the default one in there. And that's it. This is all it looks like. It's just pre-formatted uh, to uh, your particular you know, design fashion or your design choices. You can title this my uh, subscription podcast. Uh, ours is $49 a year, so we can change that price. Let's get the words right at least. <clears throat> and uh, join our exclusive club. And then private audio. Can't really type today. We'll say Discord server, because maybe you have a Zapier thing triggering off, uh, add free. Now, the most important part, other than titling your uh, product or putting in the nice little features that it comes with, is of, of course, applying the link uh, to this button. So we'll open up the, uh, the visual editor here so we can put in the link. So I'm gonna put in the link right in here. That goes to our Stripe checkout. We'll apply that, we'll update it, and now we'll preview the page. We have this nice little pricing box here. It's just centered, it's just styled. That's the only difference than me manually putting in a link somewhere. And when I click the button, which could say buy now, subscribe now, purchase now, whatever call to action you want it to be, it brings me 
to the Stripe checkout page. So again, the most important elements here, create your product in Stripe, get that link prepared to copy and paste. And then in Castos, you set up your automation uh, engine trigger in action. When somebody buys my product from Stripe, the action is to send them my private podcast. We handle that on our side. And then you can make your product and purchase page look and feel however you want using WordPress, using Gutenberg, using Elementor, whatever it is. Uh, it's really easy. Copy that link, paste it on your WordPress site, and you're off into the races. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you starting a subscription podcast uh, for your podcast? Ad free, members only, whatever it is. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.